just trying to get through it, trying to, I'm, right now I'm trying to work on gait training. So try and get me walk correctly, walk properly. So I could look like a normal kid again. 13 and a huge basketball fan, Jasmani should be firing up threes. Instead, he's learning to walk all over again. I knew it was going to be tough, but I knew we could get through it. And like throughout it, I knew I lost my leg like once, like instantly after the accident. Last September in Lowell, taking a shortcut along the tracks, Jazz tried to jump onto a slow-moving freight car, slipped, and now he's telling other kids, don't do it. The one person that had to pay for it to me to make it a big statement not to play around on him. And you're okay with that now, right? Yeah, I'm fine with it. Yeah. Just have to accept that this is a part of me and this is how it's gonna be. At the beginning, it was, um, I was getting a lot of backlash, more of like, some parent, why wasn't she watching her kid? You know, he's 12 years old, what was he doing by himself? And people don't realize it was something of a, like, a matter of half hour, he was gone. You wanna hold that side in place for me, Jess? Thanks. You have to kind of relearn how to walk. So we have to kind of teach somebody how to shift the appropriate weight over their limb, um, how to swing the prosthesis, how to go downstairs again. And I would like to thank my parents and my family. And I love them all very much. Hop, skip, and jump away. With love, a positive attitude that keeps winning out over those down days, next step prosthetics, and Spalding Rehab, Jazz hopes to walk the halls of Lowell's Daily Middle School again before the year ends. Jack Harper, WCVB News Center 5, Boston. You know